Hi everybody. I'm doing a 15 minute session for a client. This is by voice recording. I'm gonna read the goals here and then I'm gonna get started. This session is going to be so neat. All right, goals are, this session is for a place I went to when I was falling asleep. I was in spirit form and going very quickly down the hallway of an alien library or maybe a school. Seemed like a super cool place and I would just like to know more about it and what my connection is to it. Okay. Place I went to when I was falling asleep. I was in spirit form. I'm just absorbing in the goals here. All right. I'm going to relax and get tuned in. Let's see what this is all about. What is this school? What is this location? This is some interesting energy. You wouldn't believe what it is like. It's not a school right now. Right now I'm in water and it doesn't look like water at all. It looks, um, it's a tealish color, but it's the, it's not water. It's more like a baby oil texture. It looks like water, but it also doesn't. And it doesn't feel like water, although it does because it's like baby oil, which is a liquid. I'm bobbing up and down in this liquid. I literally feel like I'm on another planet. I'm the only person on this planet. And the ground is white in color. It's not, it's like a sand type texture. It's smooth, it's, it's soft. There's no plants growing. It's like a beach, but it's a different texture of sand and it's white. Now, the next scene is where it's like, a face was put inside of an orb and there's these rings that go around the orb in different directions. Then the face is pulled out of the orb and I see a woman standing here. She ha is completely bald. She's uh, got a bluish aura. It's like, I'm not convinced that she has blue skin though, but she has a bluish aura. There's like an aura to her. I'm convinced her skin is more like a, a white like a chalk white, but it seems to have a bluish uh, effect to it. She's so composed. I don't think I could ever be that composed, even if I was a master in being composed. <laughs> she is standing, she's got some type of metallic fabric on. She's, she's beautiful. She's changing her color is now a grayish skin tone. It's like the aura is subsiding. That blue color is, and she's now a grayish color. She has high cheekbones, very noticeable high cheekbones. And she has a black eyes. They're not, they're, they have whites to them. I mean, she's human-esque. She is so composed. I'm waiting for her to have an energetic reaction, but she's just standing here. So I don't even know if you want to call that peaceful because it's just so composed. Peaceful is a, an experience. Composure is just a way of being. Just standing still, but patient. Waiting for me to react. I ask her, what is this place? How do you know this client of mine? I'm bringing you in so that she can see you. You come in as a, oh man, you, you come in as a, uh, all right, you're a peachish color. You're peachish with a uh, yellowish um, hues. You're just an energy aura, basically of a body. You come, you're broken, you wanna heal. 
she has no feeling one way or another. But you're you're drawn to her for some reason. And she knows it inside of herself. I'm telling you, alien beings are not human beings. Their relationship with emotions is different. We would get offended. They don't know what offended is. They just stand in their way. It either is yes or it is no. I mean, but there's so many variations. They're not all like that. They're not all... There's so many variations of ways that alien beings have emotions, but they're not always like us. They don't... So she's just standing here, okay? And here you are. You're just like an energy aura of just peachish and yellowish colors. And you feel like a broken, sad um, energy, and you want to heal. She shows me that you would recognize this place. And she wants me to take you into here. You've only visited her maybe four times. There's not a long developed um, relationship going on here. But I don't know what is sparking your connection with her specifically. And she is, I mean, her frequencies is like nil. But she is a consciousness. <laughs> it's just so strange. All right. <sighs> Just so you know, human beings, we are like all the colors of the rainbow and all the notes on a piano, and we're all over the freaking place. We're up, we're down, we're every extreme. And she's just composed, you know? She has a different sensory nature. That doesn't mean she isn't kind or loving. She just, it doesn't, it's just whatever inspiration is to be. We're going into this orb with the rings that are going around it. You're afraid to go in there. You say, please, 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 I don't want to go there. I don't want to go there. And I say, if you're drawn to this woman here, then you need to go in here. She is saying, this is going to heal you. This is going to help you. We need to trust in this. We need to trust in something, right? There's a reason why you're here. There's a reason for everything. You are really, really nervous and uncomfortable about going into this orb. You're terrified. So I hold your hand and I say, I ask you to go into my body. And I'll take you. You'll be safe inside of me, I say. I'm actually standing as a man. I can feel you weeping inside of me and shivering and feeling cold and abandoned. Like you got thrown out of a spaceship and you just landed on Earth and you had nobody. And you feel alone. You feel like you're different. Where do you belong? I'm uh, going through this. She's turning this orb into an actual portal. Okay, this is interesting. Not what I expected. We walk through the doorway. I expected to go into this baby blue water, baby oil textured stuff. But it's, this is the healing process. It's, it's dark everywhere. And we don't know where we are. It's supposed to be like this, okay? But you glow and I start to glow. Like I have a orangish, uh, peachish, yellowish colored hue to me now. Um, but you are de depending upon me to be your guide. To show you the way to go. Because you don't believe in yourself. And you don't trust yourself. And she is saying that through me. Through this place. To you. You, you heard that loud and clear. You are wounded. And you're slowly gathering the strength to leave my body to stand for yourself. Because this is your healing. This is your opportunity to heal. 
And she's like, no baby steps here. You either want this or you do not want this. You came to me. I am showing you this. What are you going to do? Leave or stay? Very direct. But she's not uh, snippy about it. She just is matter of fact about it. Because it is a matter of fact. You're starting to find your own light. And I see your colors actually changing. You're getting more of a, a greenish glow to you now. With some yellows and peach and some white too. You're, you're um, absorbing energy from the ground beneath you. It, it all looks black right now. But there is some type of ground beneath us. And you're pulling in energy from the ground. You're starting to absorb energy much like a tree. And your colors are shifting to many different colors. And she says she's going to help you become strong again. And I see you turning into a tree with rainbow colored bark. And it has green leaves. It's rainbowy on the inside. And you feel very natural as a tree. You feel like trees express more information than even humans, you say. And there's something of the, vi the many vibrations that every single leaf is expressing. Oh, it's like every leaf has a different conversation that is, that is going on. <laughs> and this rainbow aura is just constantly emanating. And you're cheerful. You feel so cheerful <laughs> from the inside out. And you look healthy. And you look strong. And you look natural. And interestingly enough, you look more natural as this tree than I've ever, than I've seen you yet, okay? She smiles and she's proud of you. She nods. I start to see her skin isn't gray. It's more metallic looking. I mean, she looks like she has a metallic sheen to her skin. She's like a chameleon. She changes colors. You're spending a long time in here. And you're becoming a larger and larger and larger tree. I can feel it. I can feel you becoming stronger and healthier. Happier. More alive. I'm waiting for the next thing. She's already showing me that we never left where we were standing. It looked like we went through a portal, but it was just like a, like a hallucination or something. Like she prompted something in our minds and then we were there. We had that experience in real life. We actually had that experience. But we never left this spot where we were actually standing and we're looking at her again as though we never went anywhere. She says, do you know how much I love you? She shows me two things. One, she walks towards you and she hugs you for a long, 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 long time. telling you she's composed even when she is hugging you but she is sincere <sighs> you're not going to get any bullshit from her she's always going to tell you the truth and that's why you gravitate towards her because you know that she will always tell you the truth and she will always speak to you in the truth even if you don't want to hear it even if it makes you feel uncomfortable she pushes you to become stronger because she knows what it is that you need in order to heal, you could say. So she hugs you and then she shows me another image, which was strange. She shows me herself as a human being and she's smoking a cigarette. And as a human, she also has a bald head. I mean, she looks like a human. She looks human-esque, but not human. 
in, in this other scene. And she shows me she has hot tattoos. And she's uh, rough around the edges. She's wearing um, like a um, flannel type shirt. It's red and black. She has tight blue jeans on and they're rolled up on the bottom. And she's wearing some kind of um, black boot like shoes that aren't tight at all. And she's like a tough cookie or something. <laughs> she shows me her hair starting to grow out and it's black. She likes smoking cigarettes and she skate is a skateboarder. She's talking about dreams and reality. She wants to know if I believe that this is a real lifetime of hers that she is currently having right now on Earth. I say sure, why not? <laughs> All right, I guess I, I, let me just get a little more serious. Okay, let me get serious here. How, how do I actually feel about that? This is an important message because it talks about the, the way that we are connected to everything and even by our own dreams. And we live in realities. We, every dream we have is a reality. Everywhere we go, it's a reality. Every imaginary moment we have is a reality. Everything is a reality. So in this moment, when you're just about to fall asleep and then you find yourself moving through this hallways, this is a real reality that is taking place. And yes, that is one of my real realities on Earth. This is also another one of my realities here helping you as it is one of your realities to come here to be helped by me, as it is Abby's reality also to be a participant in this reality. And none of this is a dream. It was really, really neat. Thank you so much for this experience. For those of you watching, if any of you would like to explore a psychic session with me, please visit me at my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this voice recorded session. I hope you all have a wonderful day.